twilight stood there in the crystal grave, rooted to the spot. The unicorn mare finally joined the fray and enveloped him in her magic. With a quick jerk of her head, Zia was lifted off of her companion and thrown into a quite thorny bush. Twilight and Pinkie Pie nodded in unison. Her name is Lightning Dust. She was responsible for killing one of Fluttershy's birds, so I want you to get a little payback for her. Yeah, not impre- You shut up your whore mouth when Billy Mace is talking! Several guards galloped through the night in the Everfree Forest, along with Princess Luna. One of them carried an injured Princess Celestia on his back, which slowed them down considerably. Even though I was in the Wonder Balls, Spitfire was the star of the team and usually got the glory that went all along with it. Okay, every ponies, you see what I did here. I tried myself in Clopfix. I resent your presence. Oh, I know, silly. But by the end of today, you won't resent anything. Rainbow instantly nuzzles your hand as she bobs on your length. I swear to fuck, Rainbow, if Scootaloo comes up and sees this, I swear I'll make you explain this to her. Twilight was sitting up now, after hours of being unable to move, huddled with a blanket over her. Luna was sitting beside her, focusing intently on a spell. How horrible! I know she was a show-off, but what did she ever do to you? We copy. Keep them off our back so we can go. Melon Slice replied. It was a massacre. The incoming Pinkie Pie balloon erupted in flame just at Pyrelight's passing. The majestic Harbinger opened her beak and bright green balefire blasted out, tearing across the roof above us. I stood on the observation deck of the Lunar Dream, watching the night sky as the ship cut through the air. Below us I could see the Badlands south of Appaloosa. Her screamed name seemed to echo on and on for eternity. Glory! 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 I lay in a pot that was all too similar to the stasis pots I had seen in the MOP hospital that had brought me to after the Shadow Bolts had rescued me from the Zebra facility. My treacherous captain had not been captured, and my other teammates had all been slaughtered by the zebras. Redemption. It's something that every pony seeks at some point in their life. But are we truly seeking redemption, or are we looking for validation of our existence? You can hardly blame my drones. Your young ones trespassed on changeling territory. It was our right to defend what is ours. Uh, yeah, I replied. I'll take your word for it. Yes, it is quite a shame that I couldn't find her anywhere, Suri said to Prim. Quite, she agreed. I wonder what caused her to run off like that in the middle of the show. Out of respect for him, my mother ended their affair so that he could mend the bond with his wife, you, Twilight being what would mend it. In short, we are playing God. But what harm can it do? They are only fictional characters, right? And that is where we are wrong. To Robert Thompson, Chairman of the Committee on Human Survival. From Dr. Paul Velichek. I'm done, right proud of you. Erin felt her heart rise in her cheeks as she looked away. I didn't do much of anything. We as a board. Your technological, biological and medical properties will be added to our own. Prepare to be assimilated. Resistance is futile. She flipped the page back, squinting closely at the writing. I think that's different quill work. I hadn't told her about the second volume. Okay, there aren't that many questions. I didn't expect that many, to be completely honest. Um, okay, I also apologize if the audio is not 100% in sync with the video or if the angle I'm recording myself right now is not that. Released on a schedule, meaning um, I set a date and time on YouTube when they will be released. You already 
see that right now with Project Tunflower. I recorded those. Or I will give you a story that I have rejected for some other reason. For example, because it's been on hiatus for too long or it's been too long since it has been updated. I can only imagine that most of the ponies of that town, village, community or whatever did not give up their cutie marks willingly. He, had to, he really had to suffer. He had to get a massage by bulk biceps or what was his name? Snowflake? I wouldn't want to analyze this because I don't like it. It's just as easy as that. I don't, I don't think it's... The the Dashi would go so far. I mean, she is totally. She's a fan of the Wonder Balls. She has grown. Well, one and put one and one together, and um, you get this. I'm happy now. Sincerely yours, Visual Pony.